What's up guys, welcome back to another video and the subject of today's video is... Actually, I don't know. Wait a minute, I think I have an idea. Hold on. So I'm gonna head over to a Japanese hobby shop and see if I can pick up on some inspiration. Whether it be anime, Dragon Ball Z, Godzilla, whatever grabs my attention. Wait a minute, I wasn't talking about food. Let's get back to the subject. Alright guys, I'm here at Tokyo Central, so let's see what kind of inspiration I can find inside so we can get this video going. Alright, here in the hobby section of Tokyo Central, let's take a look. Alright, so let's see what's gonna grab my attention. And there's quite a variety of cool model displays. Alright guys, I'm gonna be walking aisle by aisle, seeing what they got. Wow, check out this Voltron model. And let's take a look at what this model costs. Whoa, whopping $449.99. And check out this Gai King model from Shogun Warriors. I remember Gai King when I was a kid reading the Shogun Warrior comics. $929 for this one. Check out this Godzilla. Kinda looks weird. The snout on this Godzilla looks kinda flat. Ah, and here we have a Jet Jaguar model. First time seeing one of these from Godzilla vs. Megalon going for $146.99. And here is a Gigan model from Godzilla vs. Megalon as well going for $149.99. And here are some Ultraman models. And like a lot of older cats, I grew up watching Ultraman. And over the years, they have greatly improved Ultraman's appearance. There are Gundams galore at this section. And here is a human-sized Gundam figure. Now if you want to see the life-size one, you're going to have to go to Tokyo, Japan for that one. And I always thought these chibi Gundam models were pretty cool. I used to have a few of them back in the day. And here are some anime figures from One Piece. Now I like the fact that this packaging has some cool black line art. And here is a cool replica of Inosuke Hashibira's sword from Demon Slayer. Alright guys, so I decided to stop by one more spot and the name of it is called Book Off. It's right next to the Mitsuwa Market where I have been going for years. Never knew that this Book Off was more than just books. I thought it was just a bookstore, but my friends at work told me that they have some Japanese action figures in there. So I'm about to head on in and check this place out.
All right, guys, so there was a lot of cool stuff I saw at Tokyo Central and the book off. A lot of cool stuff I wouldn't mind drawing, but I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So let's get started. Alright guys, so it's time for the inking and the coloring. So for this illustration, I will be using the ArtX acrylic brush tip paint markers as well as some Posca markers. Enjoy. Alright guys, I'm going to stop with the inking for now, it's time to trade in the black for some color.
All right, guys, so there you have it. This is what I was inspired to draw after visiting those Japanese hobby stores. Now, I don't normally draw kitty, fun, cutesy illustrations like this. I'm normally drawing aggressive, serious subject matters in my illustrations, but I was looking for inspiration at a Japanese hobby store, and I did see a lot of Gundam characters there. And if you look at the Japanese animations, um, you'll see a lot of cutesy characters going on. So I decided to mash up Gundam and a cute teddy bear, a pink one, as a matter of fact. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this illustration. Hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.